19th in the Midwest. It's 1 30 in the afternoon and the temperature's dropping. I don't think any more needs to be said. This is where the deer was the first time he stopped. After he crossed the creek, he lost the arrow. We got the arrow. It didn't penetrate very deep, and the broadhead was busted, and uh, one wing off of it, and uh, it was uh, not a lot of blood on the arrow, and it didn't penetrate very deep. We've got bone there somewhere in the shoulder, but uh, we do have a lot of blood here, and hopefully um, he's hemorrhaged enough that we'll find him dead at the end of the trail. We tracked the deer about three or four hundred yards, ended up losing the blood in a wide open grass field. Um, he bled a lot at first, uh, stumbled back and forth, and thought several times we was going to find him at any moment, but we ended up losing the blood trail. We're going to go back and uh, grid search the area, but uh, I really think after reviewing the footage that um, where the deer uh, dropped and turned as the arrow was coming at him, it got a shoulder blade and shooting them rage. Um, they're deadly, but um, on the shoulder blade, they're not going to penetrate with that wide of a cut. So I think the deer's probably going to make it. And um, if the coyotes don't get to him, he'll, he'll survive. And hopefully we'll see him another time. 